and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. A new free-to-play game has arrived today on the PS4 and Xbox One, World of Warships Legends. Focused completely around naval combat between the nautical juggernauts of history, I was eager to get my hands on Legends and luckily the creators Wargaming were okay with that and even gave me early access so I could put together an overview and a quick beginner's guide and they were even kind enough to sponsor the video too. My first ever sponsored video, so thank you very much Wargaming. The first thing you should know about World of Warships Legends is that it's an MMO of sorts. It's ultimately about pitting balanced teams against each other on the seven seas, so quickly note, you'll need to be online to play this, but you won't need PlayStation Plus. Each battle we take part in rewards us with experience and in-game currency, which then feeds into the gameplay loop. Play, earn XP, upgrade your vessel, play some more. Of course, there's far more to it than that, but that's the core structure, the thing which makes us come back for more. Let's jump into an early game. Something that impressed me right away about World of Warships Legends is that we aren't instantly sent in to be annihilated without understanding the basics. Even though the game is online only, at any point we can play against AI opponents to get to grips with mechanics or practice tactics or set up ships differently. As most of us on console are new to this type of game, the heads up display may be a little confusing, but stick with it. All the information you need is right there. For example, those orange circles which move around are incredibly vital. These relate to the turrets or batteries on your ship. Let's lay it down, World of Warships Legends is ultimately a simulation. Each one of those battlements rotates round in real time to where you are aiming. The millisecond one of those orange circles reaches the centre point, we have another shot at our fingertips. Depending on the positioning of our ship, we may have two battlements available, we may have six. So even at a beginner level, there are tactics at work constantly. Do we attack head on and minimize how much of our ship the opponent can see? Or do we go for it side on, guns blazing, maximizing the number of battlements firing at the same time, but also leaving our entire hull open to shots? Tough choice. And that's where playstyle comes into it. Because for every playstyle, there is the perfect ship. At the launch of World of Warships Legends, there are three main types of ship available, or classes if you prefer. These are cruisers, battleships and destroyers. Destroyers are extremely weak to enemy fire. They make up for this though by being the fastest movers on the water and also have a smoke screen to conceal their location. Battleships are exactly what the name suggests. They are here to stand and fight with high levels of armour, allowing them to trade shots at any distance. The additional weaponry and armour are traded for speed, movement and the huge target they offer the opposition. Cruisers are essentially a middle ground between destroyers and battleships, quick enough to evade some incoming shots and strong enough to continuously damage the targets. The cruiser is the best starting class of all as you discover and decide upon your favourite playstyle. The sheer number of ships to unlock is absolutely staggering and this is where the minutiae of the game can take hold. The stats for each ship are different. For example, the first US ship, the Albany, has quite modest stats when compared to a tier 7 Baltimore, but in terms of the smaller target to hit and general concealment, the Albany has the edge. As you progress, you'll make your own decisions on what ship is right for you. Maybe the Japanese fleet has the perfect vessel to progress towards, or maybe the British. I'm currently trying to unlock the King George V, it's the one I remember the most from history class. But before I become sidetracked by World War II history, a quick note about a great mechanic which is unbelievably simple, but also welcome in game. At some point, you're going to be the first ship sank in battle. Never fun to be the first man down, but check out this feature. We can leave the match, as we're literally cannon fodder at this point, and go back to our port. This will leave your current vessel in game, but allow you to grab another one of your ships and immediately get back into the action. You are not forced to sit and wait for the conflict to end. I absolutely love this, and yeah, mainly because I go on ridiculous missions to take out the opposition's strongest ship, and usually go down in a blaze of glory. You'll still receive all your rewards if you decide to leave once you're sunk, and once that match is over, your ship will return to your port. I was sat in my port trying to decide on my next battleship, when suddenly I leveled up. Gotta love that feature, GG developers. There are three core weapons and bullet types to utilize in World of Warships Legends. Once again, they impact playstyle. The first are high explosives and look the most impressive and cinematic in battle. These are predominantly for external destruction and can prevent the enemy from firing their armaments, potentially causing fires which damage the ship over time. We do have a consumable to put out these fires, but it's on a cooldown, making fire damage a constant threat. 
Armor-piercing shells, on the other hand, are designed to get inside the enemy ships. To get a real advantage from this, you'll need to learn the anatomy of a ship and perfect your targeting skills. And the trifecta of attack are these, the torpedoes, self-propelled underwater missiles, which the first time you see flying towards you will genuinely terrify you. What are those? Torpedoes! And, uh, okay, okay, I'm down with this. Torpedoes, let's do this. By understanding the direction of our foe, we can fire torpedoes and turn a battle in our favor. This links back to maneuverability, with the destroyers able to react and avoid torpedoes, but the battleships are more than likely forced to stand firm and hope to survive. Hopefully you can see now how World of Warships Legends layers mechanics and tactical play on top of one another. Here's one more layer to that, Commanders. Commanders are unlocked as we play the game and can be assigned to each ship in our armada. Commanders come with traits and skills and ultimately give perks to tune our warships. I've unlocked five thus far. Let's look at Togo Heihachiro. Ah oh man, I love that name. His base stats allows my consumables to reload slightly quicker, but his real skills are unlocked by playing more. Check out this perk, barely out of peril, plus 20% ramming damage dealt, and in return, 10% is decreased. This is perfect for my kamikaze rushes when I'm being completely outplayed. Enemy cruiser sunk. Off to a great start. Some commanders allow your battlements to pivot slightly quicker. Some improve target acquisition. There's a boatload to choose from. Did you notice the pun? Thank you if you did. Don't worry if you didn't fathom it. In terms of game modes, there's multiple, and judging by Wargaming's previous titles, like World of Tanks and World of Warplanes, more will be added over time. I've played intense one-on-one -on -one battles, which is all about being the first to shoot, two-on-two, -two, which adds the first layer of cooperation, and huge eight-on-eight -eight battles, which I got to admit are my favorite type. On top of that, there are other game modes, like Domination, about holding capture points. And this, once again, feeds into the ships you choose. Will you use a destroyer to tactically maneuver to capture points and spot enemies, or will you take the biggest ship you have, grab the opposition's attention whilst your teammates capture the other points? And don't worry if you think you'll be overmatched. The sides are always balanced to prevent eight battleships taking on eight destroyers. World of Warships Legends has been built completely for console gameplay. This isn't a copy-paste part of the PC game. Everything has been revamped and in many cases made specifically for the console version. So if you're like me and you played the PC version a few years ago but didn't quite make a connection with the game, now could be the time to try again. And finally, as you know, World of Warships Legends is a free-to-play title, but over April, Founders Packs are available to purchase for real-life money should you want the extras on offer. The Premium, Deluxe and Ultimate Editions offer access to ships, some of which can only be purchased with Deblooms, which are Legends versions of Fortnite's V-Bucks or Warframe's Platinum. These ships can't be earned in-game and allow us to stand out from the crowd and impress our comrades. All Founders Packs include this sexy Founders Camouflage too, as well as doubloons and credits to spend as you see fit. The Ultimate Edition, which is also the one I opted for, has even more, with two Tier 4 ships instantly available. Whether you choose the free-to-play route or you want that Founders Camo and extras, World of Warships Legends is available right now in the online store, completely free to play. If you choose to download it, I'd love to know your thoughts. I've already begun to build a tips and tricks list, I just need to improve a little more and stop ramming ships. Hmm. Thanks to Wargaming for giving me early access and sponsoring this video. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.